true. We are calling for the freedom of Cuban fire, for sure. That's why I said we have to build up that movement of millions uh, to bring the Cuban fire home. Whatever happens on the side in terms of negotiations, those are negotiations uh, under the pressures the US government might do an exchange of island grass with the three remaining Cuban fire. Uh, but uh, we got to do what we got to do. And we take our lead in Toronto from Cuba from the words of Gerardo Hernandez. Only a jury of millions will bring us home to our land. Yeah, it's, it's part of the effort to reach that jury of millions. Um, it's very important to reach that jury, that that jury be comprised of U.S. citizens or people living in the U.S. Uh, this book, Retrato de una ausencia, was published in Cuba, in Havana, on the 6th of October this year. Uh, that date has a special meaning for Cubans, all Cubans, because it was the date on which the Cuban airliner that was returning to Cuba, traveling through Barbados, was blown up uh, with the deaths of 73 people. Uh, it was a terrible crime, and the people responsible for the crime found refuge ultimately in the United States, and they haven't been punished. They haven't been punished, walking free so far. Uh, this book, uh, the essential characteristic of this book, is that um, the five participate in the writing of this book. With the return of Fernando and René to Cuba, uh, while this book was being prepared, they had an input into it, and changes were made. And uh, because changes were made, the publication of the book was delayed to some extent. But now it's out, and uh, the Cubans have asked me and Zilfa to translate it into English, and uh, I think we've just about finished the translation. We're waiting for some photographs, but there are many photographs, very important part of the book. And uh, they, we, I think we've, uh, we're about to be sure that we have a publisher uh, in Canada. The publisher will have access to the United the States. The are here, the words are here. And we'll get to understand what tremendous people uh, these five Cubans are. They, um, they're really at the pinnacle of uh, people. <laughs> people with the, with the characteristics of generosity. There's no, no hatred. There's no, no harsh feelings, really. <laughs> They're, they're being punished. They know it is unjust. Uh, they know that they were doing good. They know that uh, they're saving lives, which is the real characteristic of, uh, of Cuba. Save, look at how many ways Cuba saves lives of people directly through Doctors serving in so many, so many countries. The training of doctors, so that there's a continual, uh, of a continual service to people. Sometimes these doctors are trained to go back to their own countries. And right now we have this coincidence of the Cubans doing so much in West Africa in the fight against Ebola. Uh, the five, the, the refrain of the Cubans really, is that they were in the United States saving lives. They're saving the lives not just of Cubans, because you remember that there was that tremendous uh, uh, orgy of bombings in Cuba being carried out by people based in the United States, people paying people from other Latin American countries to carry out bombings of hotels, of restaurants, and so on in Cuba. So all this was being 
being done in, in the orgy of this when the five went to the United States to monitor the activities of these uh, criminals, not to do any harm to the United States. In fact, to do good, because some of the people who could have been injured, could have been hurt, could have been killed, were in fact U.S. citizens. Uh, so to, to know the quality of these people, including their quality as writers, because their writings, their words, are just beautiful words here. And it comes from that broad cultural training that Cubans have in general, that we could have five Cubans selected almost, well, because they're, they had proven themselves. And for example, as I said, the, in the fight in Angola against the apartheid racist South Africans. Uh, some of them had done that. But in other ways, they must have proved themselves. But, but they really are representative of the Cuban people in that sense of understanding culture to be sensitivity to others and to the value of the human right, rights of people. And that the, the basic human right is the right to life. And so in saving lives, uh, they're, they're carrying out that defense of human rights. Thank you so much.